Hi guys, I'm Nutrix. Welcome to another video, part of my series on how I make my new EP. Part of it, I actually tried new plugins to create new section in the songs that I'm working on. And part of these plugins, uh, two of them I'm going to talk today. One is a synthesis voice engine. So it creates a virtual voice that sings, which is interesting from Amp Voice. And the other one is um, a sample. Um, actually, it, it takes off samples and create riff off of that. And it can be noise, rhythm, bass. I'll show you. It's pretty interesting to give a, another uh, spin on something you already have recorded. Uh, and that one is called Texture from Devious Machine. So let's dive in right away. I want to tell you again that there's two things. There's a lot of noise coming from that computer ventilation system. So you will hear shh in the back coming from the ventilation. It's not in the song or in the plugin. Second thing is I'm running QuickTime at the same time to record this screen. So sometimes the, the CPU might look at it like it's filled or full with DSP uh, processing, which is in fact is not because it's running QuickTime in the back. So um, I'll, I'll tell you if it's different than what I had before without QuickTime, but we'll, we'll run with it. The two plugins I'm going to talk about, the first one, I actually wanted to, to go into my mix and have a different version of a drop. And um, my original sound is this thing. I'll show you what this sounds like. The original one is this. Okay, you have basically a hi-hat on effects. Okay. Very simple as part of the original song, but I wanted to create something new. So I got into texture and texture, you get this. This is really awesome, What you can do with this. For me, this is really cool. Now you go, how do you get from this to that? I'm just gonna bring a little bit of volume here. And I added a Arturia preamp after that. So if I go into texture, that's right. let's edit this one. So texture, you have this screen, which is really cool. You have a sample you can use. You have dynamics, so how it's going to respond to the original sound. I can go and listen to the original sound. So the original sound. I can have half and half. I can have only the result of the plugin. So what you have in this one, you have the dynamics, how it's going to record, react to the volume. Like I'm telling you, this is this is the quick time running at the back that you have this here. Um, you have the LFO here uh, that can affect the pitch of the sound. So basically, you're going to trigger that sound here. Um, that sound is what they call bass broken. It's uh, it looks to be wavetable. I'm not sure, but it I mean the graphic looks like it, it, but it could just be a sample. Uh, texture EQ, so you can EQ the result playing. So basically, this sound playing bass broken. Original EQ, you can EQ the original. Welcome. Let's say you would want to get rid of, let's say you would have a kick and a hi-hat and a snare, and you just want to have snare and hi-hat, you could cut the bass and only the snare and hi-hat would trigger the new sample. That's kind of what you could have. Um, so you can choose different sample. You can even drop your own right into there and have this triggered. So it could be simple as, as replacing, let's say, a snare at a challenge that doesn't sound the way you want. And you could just trigger another snare. You drop it in and you have your new snare. Or you could have a hi-hat. You want to change to something else. You put it in and it works. Or like I'm doing right now, I'm taking the rhythm of the hi-hat to trigger a bass line. Um, and that's what you have. You have this thing. And you can say more bass, high in the type of filter when you're going to um, modulation, another pitch, you can drop it down like it did, it did six semitone, you can play with it, and you can have, what I have is the envelope modulation is playing with the cutoff frequency, and you have the attack here. This is basically how it's going to control the dynamics of the trigger. So if you change the limit, it's going to accept more of it. If you cut it, it's going to accept. 
steps between these two that he's playing all the time. Or you can get higher, and maybe you just want the high frequency, the high volume to trigger it. That's it. So you decide how it's going to trigger it. So this is really efficient. Uh, you have in this case a side chain you can use, and you with the cool the cool part here is actually you can go in and load another one. No, you need headphones. This is very low. Let's say we try another one here. I'm going to go factory preset. Let's say I'm going to try uh, a vocal. Now, this one is bizarre. <laughs> I accept this is, was just bizarre. Let's bring down with the pitch. So it's easy to create something just bizarre or fun or complement to you, something you already have. It could be... It could be anything. They can really be fun. So this is this is a way to bring new stuff, uh, sample based, and just add it into your mix, triggered by samples that you already have, loops that you already have. So it might be one way for me to add voices. I'm looking into that. Um, either I use this for voices, you know. Or somebody speaking, and then I'm just gonna go around like here, like speech. I'll see, I'll play with that. But that's that, that is really for me, they're really fun a way to bring in new. Uh, sample new sound uh, in sync with what's happening. So depending on what uh, loop of sound I use to trigger this, I can totally change how and when these will be triggered. I mean, this thing is really twisted and bizarre and I like it. I like these little odd apps that give you something that you don't find often. So this is cool. But then there's another question is I wanted to have some voice singing. Um, and there's an app from Amp Voice that is a synthesized voice singing whatever you want so i'm going to try this and see what i can do with it you open and voice and what you have is basically a um, piano roll with all these notes and you place the notes where you want it it's monophonic by the way so you cannot play chords uh, of course you can load this on different tracks and then together they would sing together so it's also possible but one instant of it is monophonic at least for now, the M voice one, I'm guessing one for one voice. They're probably gonna have more than that at one point, but right now it's monophonic, at least the version I have. And you put the notes in, um, and then you type under them the text you wanna put in. So no point in trying, I will forget it all. That was basically my little you know, text. I was trying to see what I could do with that. So then you just select what you want and it plays it. No point in trying, I will forget it all. So you hear the stop between forget, stop, and it all, but then it all 
glides between one. So it's basically like a monophonic note gliding from one to the other. So it's uh, it all, it's, uh, it's saying without stopping. I will also, and no point also, so no point changes. So that's, um, and then that, it does this, that's it. There's no control on the voice itself. You only have Lucy you can use right now. Uh, you've got, you can you know, write and edit, but it's very simple. Um, and that's it. It's really, this, this is what it does. Now, the only problem I have with live is that right now, if I trigger this, it will trigger at the beginning of the song. It's like it's a separate sequence. So this will not only trigger add the clip that I want. So if I want to use it in uh, live, what I'm guessing is I'm going to record the output and put it in audio and a clip, and then I'll use it as an audio clip, and that would be it. Um, so, I mean, maybe I'm going to put it at a clip and then put it into texture and trigger it. That's interesting. I'll see. I'll see. So that's it. These are the two apps I wanted to talk today because they're they're just like little apps from a company I didn't know before, and they're doing a great job of trying, you know, outside of the box. That's it. If you like what I'm doing, thumb up, follow me, click on the notification bell, and if you want a t-shirt that I don't wear right now, t-shirts from uh, Nutrix, they're in the link below, and uh, hope to see you soon. Cheers, guys.